Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back today. We're in downtown Cato Paphos, we're in the Harbour area, and we're going to take you for a little long mosey on down, and have a look at some boats, some restaurants. You never know, we might meet some old friends, and you never know, we possibly might meet some new friends. But one thing's for sure, I'm going to introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world, and her name is Archie Brasivia Labouf. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again, so stick with us as we show you around the Cato Paphos Harbour area. Just over there is the Cato Paphos Castle. And you pop two euros fifty in the gentleman's hand inside and you get to wander in there. And obviously you can go up the stairs right up to the very top and the view is absolutely spectacular. If you go hunting through our videos, pop in Paphos Castle, you'll see us storm that place. Unfortunately, we had to pay him we were not famous at all at that time. Hopefully now we could walk in and not have to pay. You never know. Proceed. I wonder about all these lovely boats standing now. Are they not fishing at the moment, B? Well, they are fishing boats and they are fishing, but not at this time of day. In general, they go out either very, very late at night or very, very early in the morning. They do their fishing and they come back, sell their fish obviously to the restaurants and to their restaurants. family and friends and then they're gonna have a snooze and guess what they then do it all over again and again and again and again a little bit like Miss Ocheng Receive La Bouffe and Mr Paul. I believe in the summertime it could be very very this difficult because of humidity and heat yes. uh, even if you have a little roof on the top it doesn't help I'm afraid on the summertime when it's so so humid and hot Yes, this is true. All professions have their troubles. There's the good times and the bad times, and everyone always thinks it must be wonderful to go out fishing. But of course, in the peak of the summer, it's very, very hot as the sun glistens on the sea, glistens on your boat, and cooks the life out of you. And some of these boats, as you can see, have only got little canopies. But of course, that's the reason why they go out very, very early in the morning or very, very late at night. And of course, the seas at that time of day are very quiet. The fish can't hear them and the fish are hungry, I assume. I'm not a fisherman. They hook them and they catch them, bring them back to shore, sell them and we eat them. Receive it. And we eat the lovely fish. If you're a fish person, come here downtown Katopafos. It's so nice and tasty. You can get from the smallest fish to the biggest fish, but they're all tasty and fresh. You can actually see them under the fridges that are standing in front of every restaurant. Yes, so stick with us. We're going to have a wander on round and we're going to show you some of those restaurants that are in the kind of Paphos Harbour area. And as Gracevia has just told you, they do actually have some freezer areas outside. And we're going to show you some of those fish. And they are fresh, fresh, fresh indeed, that's for sure. So we're going to work our way around now. This is the way that we go. Over there is the sunset viewing point. That's where all the people gather. You've got great, great views from up there. This is the municipality offices where they control all the ports, that sort of stuff. And then over here is where there was a motorcycle museum. And now there is an arts and crafts thing going on in there. And one of these days we'll pop in, befriend her. And guess what? We'll take you around. Receiving? Yes, and uh, I remember how we were going here when it was the Bicycles Museum. Now it's something else. We will learn very soon what's going on. Ah, oh, it's a picture. Yes, museum. it's an art gallery. Art moment. gallery. Yes. Well, I'd love to go there. We will. We'll befriend her. We don't want to yeah. pay. We don't want to pay. Well, uh, pay or not, we should see the art gallery. Yes. We'll befriend her a bit later, and you never know, she might let us go in, and we will be able to take you with us. Now, Cato Paphos Harbour, there it is. So you've got some small boats, you've got some big boats. You've even got a couple of police boats. If you're a naughty, naughty chappy, they're going to catch you, they're going to beat you, and you never know, they may even shoot you. There's the Zorki. Don't scare the people, Mr. Paul. <laughs> there we are. That was me walking into a light post. There's good barrel number one. And this is the big one coming. That's the ocean flyer. That's getting ready to go out. So this is one of the platforms that takes you out amongst the boats. So we're going to go that little bit further. We'll follow the rear end of Grisivia La Bouffe and we'll get to watch the ocean vision as it departs for its afternoon 
well, monkeying around, should we say. And there's a monkey in front of us, that's for sure. Look at that for a rear end. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> Who says that we don't bring you a bit of fun on our channel? We try our very best. We hopefully we can keep you entertained. Receiving the booth is about to, I don't know what she's doing. Let's have a look. Help me. Help you know, me. When, the, when the husband is going to sail, sail. Sail away. Sail away. And you're saying, help me, please don't go. Otherwise you never come back. You find another woman there. Right, come on, receiving the booth. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> the orientation is absolutely Sherlock Holmes, that's for sure. Stick with us. We're going to get back to the main set of Paphos Harbour area and we're going to mosey on down and start showing you the restaurants, naming the restaurants and introducing you to one or two of our Gumbarus. Gumbaru is the word for best man or friend. That's the translation if you understand. So, here we go. Receive it. Well, I just uh, I just read the name on the board, and it was saying to igro oniro, which means from Greek, uh, wet dream. What do you think can be the wet dream mean? I didn't think your English was that good, but anyway, I'll find out off camera later. Stick with us. <laughs> it was saying the wet dream. Right. So here we've got some dancing chachotchka boxes. Do you think there is a dry dream and wet dream? Huh? Here we go. So if you want to dance the Chachotchka or the Zorpa with Ochsin Recibio La Bouffe, well, it's very, very simple. The sky is blue, the sea is blue. I'm dressed head to toe in blue. In fact, she's in blue today. So get yourself on a big bird or All a canoe and start paddling like crazy. crazy. All that's missing is... It's not on the rhythm now. You you were saying this is blue, that is blue, this is blue, that is blue, and all is missing is you. Leave the start paddling a bit. Right, leave the start they'll paddling pad a bit. They'll paddle yes, late. Yes, we will. All right. It doesn't get much advertising, so we'll advertise it now. That is the Zorki, the underwater experience. Semi-submersible submarine. It's got a full glass bottom, which is underwater, which is allowing you to watch whatever's going on. You never know, might be some nudist swimmers, there could be some turtles, there's a lot of things going on and you get to follow that boat around. It goes out for two hours and it's only 25 euros and you get a good drink from there as well. Anyway, here we are, first little restaurant bar on the block and that one is called Stevie's. There it is. That's the logo and that's the man himself, that's Mr. Dexter. See, I'm saving you. You alright? How are you doing? How are you doing, Mr. Dexter? How are you you alright? Right? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Where's Mr. Henry today? Uh, Mr. Henry is off today, so I said to him I'll cover his shift. He's covering the shift. Yeah. So, that is Mr. Henry's alter ego, Mr. Dexter. And he used to be in a pop band. Pardon? He used to be in a pop band. Me? Yes, well, maybe. No. No? I used to be a skateboarder. Did you? Yeah. We'll bring you a skateboard Ye one, though. I was a, I'm a body popper, hip-hop dancer. All right. Interesting. Right. Done a little bit of everything. Yes. Everything. We'll see you on the way back. So he's the daytime superstar that invites you in to Stevie's bar and restaurant. The next one on the block, well, doesn't need much of an introduction. There he is. There he is. We had a little bit of a holiday. A little bit of a holiday. Yes. There, there's not a little bit. It's holidays or no holidays. It's holidays. Holiday. Hey, that is the man known. Six Bagandi, six aka the Fat Bastard. <laughs> We're a family channel. Where are we? That's where we are. Sail at the castle, kitchen bar. That's the rear end, the sports bar, and that's the front end, which is well doing pretty well. We're on a very, very early time of the day at the moment, and they're doing pretty well. That's for sure. The next one along the block, the Jalalama. There it is. One of the greatest ice cream parlours in downtown Kedapapos. And of course, they've got a front of house, which is the Bistro Bar restaurant. And there's the man himself. How you doing, Mr. Ryan, okay? the best manager in the whole <laughs> of Paphos. And they've got a great, great menu, by the way. We've eaten pretty much everything that's on this menu. And I can promise you that the food is very, very good. And I know a little trick that that menu comes off. Have a look at that. And there's a nighttime menu. See? I'm after his job. After his job. Thanks, Mr. Ryan. Thanks. 
See you a bit later. Right, the next restaurant and the most famous restaurant on the block doesn't need much of an introduction. That's a superstar. You're right. Good. And it's called the Pelican Restaurant. One of the greatest, greatest restaurants in downtown Cato Papos. It's called the Pelican Restaurant because it's got... Because it's got a pelican. It has. A rose bird. It's got Sorry. a rose bird. And her name is Miss Coco. And she's having a bit of a snooze. So we're going to follow the rear end of Gracevia the booth. And we're going to go and have a little chat with Miss Coco. There we go. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Miss Coco. She said, hey, I'm having a bit of a relaxing morning. I'll be back on stage at two o'clock. Come back with a few euros. The girl is doing her needs and afterwards she'll be cleaning like crazy because I know her. And you now, disturbing her, Mr. Paul. Yes. It's your time. Stay with us. She's having a bit of a snooze. And she'll be live on stage. You're right. She'll be live on stage. What's that? What's that? On the way back. On the way back. Lovely. We've been invited to come for a drink, so we'll come on the way back. Absolute superstars in all of these restaurants, that's for sure. They all understand what we're trying to do for them. That we're trying to promote the life out of them. And all the reports we get from all the people who watch our videos tell us that all of these restaurants treat them well and with great respect, that's for sure. Anyway, we are coming to the end of the Cato Papos Harbour. Just over there you've got where you go and get all your boat trips. And then just over here you've got the last restaurant on the block. And the last one is the King's. And again, he's a very, very good gumbaru of ours. Uh, what is the Liberty's Mama doing here? Well, she's in cahoots with them, isn't she? Mama. She works with them. Really? Yes. Oh, right. Yes, she does. Okay. So this is King's Restaurant. There we go. Have a look at that. That's their rear of house for the restaurant prep area. And, of course, that's their front of house. And it's one of the best restaurants in Paphos. And it's got a great, great view indeed. And it views straight out onto the Cato Paphos Harbour area and straight out onto the Cato Paphos Promenade, which is that just over there. So stick with us. We're going to go and introduce you to the Paphos Sea Cruises and see what they've got to say. Because they're the guys who are in charge of most of the boats that are out in that harbour. All the way from the Ocean Vision to the Ocean Star, they got quite a few boats, that's for sure. There we are. That's the man in charge today. How are you? You alright? See what the great eyebrows, the great eyes. Absolute star. There we are. And a matching hat and t-shirt. And he's got a partner in crime who promotes the life out of every boat. See her eagle eyes now are watching. She wants to get on the boats. Receive it. We'll see them later. Now we have to continue. Yes, thanks very much. See you in a bit. So, we've come to the end of this little video and Receive La Bouffe would like to give you a very, very good goodbye. I would like to tell you all many, many thanks for watching and I really do mean that you are our luxury, wonderful, beautiful, lovely, amazing people. Because all people we met until now, none of them were bad people. Not even a little bit. So we are thanking you all. We are loving you all. And please come back to see another of our madnesses. We are loving you again and again. And please never forget to watch us. What's left for me to say is thanks for watching and of course if you do like what you see please hit the like, click subscribe and come back for a little bit more of our madness. I'm going to leave you with a great view over the blue blue Mediterranean Sea all the way across to the promenade of the Cato Paphos area out towards the hotels. Have a look. Thanks for watching.